just looking at my final drive when I went away to Portugal I noticed in France that there was a slight leak which got worse and I had to top it up on the way home coming across Spain because it got so bad strangely it seems to have dried up again anyway I'm going to have the back wheel off and have a look at it I've got a new oil seal, I've replaced the seal once before, you can see the oil on the hub here where it's stained it, but as I say, it's weird, because it seems to have stopped leaking again, it's all, all around the uh, brake lever here, it's just where I spilt it when I was spilt the new oil when I was topping it up. Anyway, we'll have a look. Yeah, as I suspected, the seal has been leaking. So you can see there, that seal's been leaking. So I'll take the brake shoes off and replace that seal. So I'm just going to remove the clip and the brake shoes here. Gently remove brake shoes. So what I'm going to do here is just drill a hole in the side of the seal using the hand drill. I'm using the hand drill because I don't want to damage, minimise the chance of damaging the um, uh, any of the rubbing surfaces. Drilled a hole in the seal, and um, what I'm going to use now is a slide hammer with a self-tapping screw in there. 
So we'll screw in the self tapping screw. And then we can just just knock out the old oil seal like that. There's that old oil seal that I've just removed. Came out quite neatly. So I've just screwed the um, um, wheel mounting bolts into the flange and I'm just having a look at the um, flange here where the seal runs make sure there's no damage I'm just feeling for any roughness on the bearing as well so I'm just turning the flange here looking for any damage to the seal. All looks to be okay. So I can't see any damage on there. Feels nice and smooth, can't feel any rough areas. So um, we'll put the new seal in in a minute. So this uh, surface of the seal on has got to be scrupulously clean. Also just wiping out the um, aluminium housing. Right, I'm just putting a smear of grease on the lip of the seal. That will stop the seal from burning out due to friction. Position that over the flange. And then gently, carefully, just start tapping that in. gonna start eventually it goes pretty gentle
So that's the new ceiling. Just rotate that. going to wash off any oil residue on the brake shoes with some brake cleaner. So the um, brake shoes are back on, you can see the new oil seal installed, um, so we can just put the drum back on now, uh, the wheel back on and uh, adjust the brakes.